18 News is investigating how kids are being kept safe in our schools. Every year, all school districts in the state of New York are required to submit reports on a range of incidents, including bullying, drugs, and threats of violence. Tonight, 18 News reporting Dubina is taking a closer look at the data submitted by the Corning Painted Post School District. Good evening, Nick. Hey, Deja. The annual school safety and the educational climate report is required by state law. It tracks incidents in nearly a dozen categories. They range from falsely pulling fire alarms, to homicides. This is the 2022-2023 report for the Corning Painted Post Area School District. It breaks down information for nine schools that serve more than 4,000 students. The 2022-2023 School Safety and the Educational Climate Report shows there were zero school-related arrests in the Corning Painted Post Area School District. There were no reported sexual offenses or assaults. There were also no weapons found on school grounds. The report does show 30 incidents of discrimination, harassment, and bullying. That's fewer than 1% of all K-12 students. It's also down from 46 reported incidents in the previous school year. 10 of the 30 incidents happened at Corning Painted Post High School, 15 others at the middle school. The rest happened at three elementary schools. The report says there were 30 student offenders and the same number of, quote, targets or victims. That number does not include cyber bullying. The report says 21 of the incidents were bias related. They include discrimination based on race, disability, and weight. Eight students received in-school suspensions. 21 were suspended out of school. As for cyberbullying, the report says there were three incidents involving three victims. All three offenders were suspended from school. The report says there was one threat of school violence made by a high school student. It happened off school property, was not bias related, and did not involve a weapon. The student was suspended from school. In a statement, Superintendent Michelle Caulfield told us in part, quote, it is essential that our students and families work with us to help prevent these incidents before they start. One new initiative at the middle school that has had a tremendous impact is away for the day. Cell phones are no longer allowed during the school day. As a result, we have seen less negative social media incidents and an increase in the overall attentiveness of our students during the school day. Now, the report says there were 51 incidents involving drugs, 38 at the high school, 13 at the middle school. The district told us the majority of the incidents involved vaping marijuana. Superintendent Caulfield says the district continues to focus on raising awareness about the risks of vaping. The school says a few drug incidents involved over-the-counter medications. Now, the report also says the district does have a school resource officer present on campus on a regular basis. To read this full report and school-by-school -school breakdowns, we posted it all on our website. That's MyTwinTears.com. Deja.